Hi there, your artist Hines here uh, with another uh, studio tip for you guys. Uh, as you guys know, I do acrylic painting and um, during the process of painting my pictures, I use water to clean my brushes out. And in between colors, and while I'm using one brush as opposed to another, I suspend my brushes in a bucket. Now I like to use a, a one gallon bucket, about that size. A uh, one gallon bucket. So uh, I can put my very large brushes in there, but when I'm doing my large abstracts, mostly I use these very large brushes that can actually sit in the bucket uh, without any kind of damage to them. But when I'm doing my more realistic paintings, I tend to use much finer brushes uh, like filberts and rounds that are much more delicate. So these can't sit in the bottom of the bucket, touching the bottom of the bucket because essentially what would happen is uh, as they sit in the bottom, they actually bend. And if they sit there very long, it just kind of uh, reshapes the brush and uh, it loses its shape and gets this kind of uh, a bent to it. So what I did was I actually created this little suspension uh, system that the small brushes can actually it'll actually hold the smaller brushes suspended above the water while these brushes, because they're, they're not, there's no worry of these getting damaged, can actually sit at the bottom of the bucket. So let me show you how I do it. Okay, this is how I uh, uh, made this system. What I took was the uh, typical um, brush holder strainer that is mostly used for oil painters. Oil painters use uh, solvents to clean their brushes and they suspend their brushes in the solvents uh, while painting. Um, it's a very nice little system and it works beautifully for uh, doing oil paintings. So the brushes kind of sit like that. And you can have your mineral spirits or your turpentine, whichever you use for cleaning your brushes, in this uh, little uh, container here. And the brushes are actually suspended in it without touching the bottom by this little holder. Well, for me, I don't need this container because I'm using a very large bucket to also hold all my other brushes. And having this in there separate from everything else is just not necessary and also kind of gets in the way of me cleaning my brushes. And then there's a separate bucket of all kind of stuff. Anyway, so what I did was I used this by taking off the brush holder part like that. And I attach this to my bucket, and this is, how, this is how I do it. I use small paper clips, little small paper clips like this. And what you do is you open up the small, the, the smallest curve, um, this one right here. And you bend that up, the smallest one. And then you clip it over the top of the top of the hanger trying to see where I am here. Okay, yeah, over the top of the hanger. And then you just bend it up to lock it in. Then what you do is you take the other end and you pull that out like that. Now you do it twice, but I'm just gonna show you on this one so you get an idea of what I'm doing. Then what you do is you take your bucket, excuse me a second. You take your bucket, you put it in the bucket, and you put the paper clip over the edge. And then you just pull it down so that, or clip it over, so that it actually clips underneath and holds it on. And what happens is, is that you have this suspended by the paper clip. Now I take a second paper clip. Like I said, you open up the smallest part Again, clip it over the top of the strainer, right? And then pull the paper clip out, right? And then I take that paper clip, bring it down under, close it, and there you have it. And so the strainer is now sitting in the bucket suspended by these without having to use the actual little silver bucket that comes with it. So now as you see, this sits in your bucket 
and now I can attach my small my small brushes to it they're suspended in the water without touching the bottom my small brushes but I can also have my large brushes sitting in there as well without any damage to the small ones and still room to put the large ones in there so I hope that was helpful to you um, uh, if you're if you have any questions or anything please give me a call uh, um, I'm sorry please send me an email at heinzart at aol.com that's h-i-n-e-s a-r-t at aol.com uh, visit my website at www.theartistheinz.com and you can also go to my Facebook page The Artist Heinz. So I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks. Happy painting.